Good morning, and thank you for joining me in a time of devotion. Sometimes you and I, all of us, feel alone. Maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't, but we often do. And when we feel alone, we reach out to those people who are around us, the people that love us, our families, our friends, the people who care about our lives and, and want to be part of our story. We reach out to them and, and they provide comfort and they provide help and they provide uh, support in one way or another so that we can continue to move on in our lives. But when we're in a time of consistent stress or a consistent anxiety, whether it be in our own personal lives or more spread out in the world, as some of us are feeling today, we can often feel like we're carrying the world by ourselves. We may logically know that it's not true, that there are many people in the world and, and everybody's doing what they can to be able to try to do good things and, and be good people and so on and so forth. But when we reach out to those who are close to us, sometimes we find that they are not there. They've always been there, but now, for whatever reason, they're not there. They've always been able to be counted on, but for some reason in this moment, they're not being counted on anymore. They're, they've disappeared from the picture, and, and maybe you don't even blame them. Maybe there's something going on in their life because they're having to deal with their own struggles, too. And so, because you love them, there's grace, but it doesn't stop you from feeling alone. And Jesus knows exactly what you're feeling because he's felt it too. He was there. He experienced this. But he also recognized another truth that you and I need to recognize as well. In John 16, 32, Jesus said this. He said, but the time is coming. Indeed, it is here now when you will be scattered, each one going his own way, leaving me alone. Now he's talking to his disciples. He's telling them that his time of crucifixion is approaching and he's telling them as it's coming, the greater the weight becomes on my shoulders. That's when you're going to leave me. That's when you're going to scatter. That's when you're going to leave me absolutely alone. Now he said that they were scattered I'm facing my most difficult moment, and now you are scattering. What that means, what that tells us, is that they didn't have a plan. They, didn't, they weren't planning to, to retreat and then come back and, and help him. They, they weren't planning. They, they had no plan at all. This was every man for himself. This was everybody just running away as fast as they could. And Jesus is saying, hey, you, you are with me now, and, and I know that you mean well. But in my most difficult moment, you're going to run away scared. You're, you're going to move away from me and you will leave me absolutely alone. You won't be thinking about me in any way. I will be completely and totally alone. Except. See, the verse doesn't end there. He, he is telling them, you're going to leave me, but I still won't be alone. He said, yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. He said, the, 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 the physical presence that you present, represent is gone. And I'm physically alone in this world. But the spiritual reality is that I am not, nor have I ever been, alone. Jesus was by himself unless he looked beyond the physical world and into the spiritual reality that we all live in. We all live in a reality that is both physical and spiritual. And Jesus is saying, I recognize that in one side of this equation, I'm alone. But in the other side, I have never been, nor will I ever be alone. And neither will you. You might feel like the whole world is on your shoulders right now, but the fact is you're not carrying it by yourself. In fact, that old poem it talks about the footprints in the sand and, and how at times there's, there's two sets of prints walking side by side. And then at certain points in the journey, there's only one set of footprints in the sand. And the, the author cries out, why, why did you abandon me in those moments, Jesus? Why you walked beside me this whole time, but in these difficult moments, there was just one set of footprints and you just left me there. And Jesus responds to the uh, 
to the one who's crying out and says, no, no, you're misreading this thing. The fact is, there is only one set of footprints, and that's because I am carrying you in those moments. You are never alone. He will never leave you or forsake you. And so my encouragement to you today is to look beyond the physical reality and recognize that you live in both worlds simultaneously. In the physical, maybe you are carrying things by yourself. And there are times when we all have to carry a load that's greater than ourselves. But in those moments, we must recognize that we live in the spiritual world too. And that your Father, God, your Savior, Jesus will never, never leave you alone. You have someone by your side at all times. In fact, he's not just by you. He is within you. And because he's in you, this is why the New Testament writer could say, Christ in you is the hope of glory. This is why the New Testament writer could say that in him or through him, all things are possible. I believe that today, if you will recognize that you live in both worlds simultaneously and in the spiritual world, which in fact is the more powerful world and more powerful reality we live in, that you are never alone, you're going to look back on this day and think, that was a great day. And I'm believing that it will be a great day for you. God is with you. He's never left you. No matter what you feel, I pray that you turn your eyes to heaven And say, Father, this isn't an incantation. These aren't magical words. This is a reality that you're living in. And when you recognize he's with you, you can call out, Father, I know you're with me. I know you haven't forsaken me. And it allows you to stand up straight. It allows you to put your shoulders back, hold your head up high, and walk into an unknown future knowing that he is not only with you, but he's already gone before you. He's not left you. You're not really alone at all. I pray that this is a great day for you. May God richly bless you. Amen.